Common beans are an important source of food and income for farmers and families. By improving your bean planting and cultivation practices, you can have more beans to eat and sell. This animation shows you steps you can take to improve your bean production. There are four things you can do that will improve your bean production. Use high quality, quality assured, or certified seeds to plant. Plant your beans in rows. Use chicken manure and fertilizer if available. Weed your crop regularly. Quality Assured or Certified Seed is seed you buy from a seed dealer or seed supplier. Although certified seed costs you money initially, it improves germination, reduces diseases, and improves yields. Since Quality Assured or Certified Seeds have a high germination rate, you also save seed because you will only need to plant one or two seeds in each hole. Planting your beans in rows will let each bean get the nutrients, water, and sunlight it needs. Although it will require more preparation and labor to plant in rows, it saves time and labor later because it makes weeding and harvesting much easier. It also makes it easier to identify insect pests and plant diseases earlier. To row plant, you will need to prepare your field by cleaning, plowing, and leveling it. Plant your rows along the contour of your land to reduce erosion. After you determine which direction you want the rows to go, you will need to create your rows using the string and stake technique. To do this, you will need two strong stakes or sticks and one long string or rope that is as long as your row. If your row is too long, use the longest string you have. If you have multiple strings and stakes, you can plant multiple rows at once. If you only have one string and two stakes, you will need to make one row at a time. Tie one stake to the end of the string. Place that stake firmly into the ground at the edge of your field where you want your first row to start. Walk to the other side of the field where you want your row of beans to end. Push the second stake into the ground, keeping a straight line with the first stake. Make sure to push the string down on the stake so that it is close to the ground. This will make it easier to follow the row. If you are planting along a contour, use several sticks to guide the rope along the row. Move along the string and make a furrow or a trench from one end to the other for your seeds. This furrow should be three to four centimeters or an inch and a half deep or as deep as your thumb. Place the next row 50 centimeters or one and a half feet to the left or right of the first row. This is one and a half lengths of your foot. Here's a tip. If the stakes are 50 centimeters in length, you can simply lay the stake down from your first hole to the second to get the correct length. You don't need to measure again. If you are only using one string and two stakes, remove one stake and place it 50 centimeters or one and a half feet to the left or right. Do the same for the stake at the other end of the field, making sure the string is tight. If you want to intercrop with maize, you can make enough space to put in a row of maize and then return to planting beans after that. You should have multiple rows of beans in between any rows of maize. Now it is time to add fertilizer to your rows. To maximize your yield, use a combination of chicken manure, DAP, and urea. If you don't have all three fertilizers, use what you have. Fertilizers cost money, but they pay off in higher yields and plants that can withstand drought and diseases. Spread a thin line of fertilizer along the bottom of your furrow. This is called banding and will give the best yield. After spreading the band of fertilizer in all of your furrows, cover it with a thin layer of soil. You don't want the fertilizer to come in direct contact with your seed. Now you are ready to plant your high quality seed. Place one seed every 10 centimeters or four inches. 10 centimeters is about the width of your fist. If you do not have quality assured or certified seed, you should plant two seeds every 10 centimeters. After you have planted the seeds, cover the holes with two to three centimeters of soil using your foot or a hoe. 
Then, lightly tamp the soil down with your foot. Continue this until you have planted your entire field. You should weed your field three times. Weed your beans once they develop two to three leaves after germination. That's about two weeks after planting. Take a hoe and stir the soil between each row to remove the weeds. Weeding is very important because the weeds compete with your bean plants for nutrients. Weed again two weeks later. This is before the bean plants flower. This time, also check for any diseases and insect pests while weeding. Weed again in another two weeks. This time, you can just hand pick the weeds. There shouldn't be many weeds this time. If you follow all four of these recommendations, you will get the best production of beans. To follow these recommendations, you will need to buy high quality seed and fertilizer and may pay extra money for the cost of weeding. The higher yields you will get will more than pay back your initial costs. Growing beans using the recommended practices will result in more beans to eat for you and your family and also more beans to sell. You will help your children to grow strong as well as earn more money for your household. Your clean, weed-free rows will show that you are a modern farmer. Other farmers will be watching your field and will soon be asking you for advice.